two. Dick Smith and Blaylock in game one shot 39%. And they only shot 33 and threes. Here is Scotty Pippen. He's this is a replay of game number one where he was six of ten from downtown. And you know, yeah, Dickie had a very quiet 29 with six rebounds and great defensive play. Leitner has blocked out of bounds. Longley makes the defensive play. Luke Longley played a good game in the first contest against Motombo. Well, he was left open a lot. Now here comes Longley on a rotation here to pick up on Leitner. Now you know well, this is a defensive series. Both teams known for their defense. Steve Smith has a block by Longley. That's two on Luke. The Aussie has two block shots. Atlanta now 0 for 6. Chicago at 1 for 5. And Ron Harper. Harper always seems to score early in the game, Hubie, and he does here. Look out. Leitner beating the Bulls down court. That's what Chicago did in game one against Atlanta. Yeah, well, Rodman is upset because he allowed. 8.20 to go in the first. Green and roll. Leitner blocking out Michael Jordan, giving Blaylock a good look, and he hits from downtown. Buki Blaylock giving the Hawks a 7 to 5 lead. The shot finally. Pippen. Hawks have to watch the Bulls transition and Ron Harper on a layup. He spun away from Mookie Blaylock. You see Smith's playoff average in keeping with what he's done on the year. Tony Kukoc getting free and the Bulls running and doing an excellent job on Corbin. And you say Corbin. Well, all the playoffs is averaging 12 points. Look at this. Blaylock with his second from downtown. Is their biggest early lead of this game. Jordan posting up against Smith with the fall away and Michael Jordan with his first field goal of the game. So right now Michael is very difficult. When he's not job. Laker was looking for the foul. Linger down at the offensive nice. end and the Bulls with an extra man advantage. Ron Harper taking advantage and has six points. Defensively. Hawks started off cold but they've come back shooting wise and Steve Smith follows it up so they're 7 of 11 since an 0 for 6 start. And the Hawks lead by the Hawks have to get back because the Bulls are trying to run the court, and they do as Jordan finds Kukoc. Kukoc with six now for Michael Jordan. Leitner tries to double it, leaving Pippen open for a three, and he's got it. Scotty Pippen with his second from downtown. It's a showing Tuesday night. Good pass into Steve Smith, swatted away by Ron Harper. And here come the Bulls again in the open floor. They're dangerous there. Michael Jordan, ooh, way off the glass, but Pippen cleans up. Michael said a ricochet pass, Scotty. <laughs> oh, did he miss on that one? Pippen with eight points. And we're going to watch Michael come to your right. And then keep an eye to the right of your screen off the double team. Here's Pippen. Notice the screen right there by Kukoc. Corbin could not get through it. Way to knock it down, Scotty. He's still on fire. Then at the other end, the ricochet pass from Michael to Pippen. I know he's going to tell Pippen. The Bulls lead with 1-10 to go in the first. Good nice pass from Longley to Pippen. Talk about a clinic with the triangle offense. The Bulls are showing it here. 28 to 22. So the Bulls have opened up their biggest margin so far. Leitner gets a good pass from Henderson. The basket counts in a foul. Christian Leitner with six and playing a lot more aggressively has a chance for the three-point play. Now this we said is open all night for the Hawks. When they trap big man, big man. See that? That's big man, big man. Will you please move so when we hit you that you can score. It's seven plus to go. Harper is guarding Steve Smith. Jordan on the bench, of course. Smith driving and getting the basket. Watch out now. And yeah, plenty of time. Plenty of time with Steve Smith, Alan Henderson, and Christian Leitner. Leitner posting up against Brian Williams. Blaylock with a three, and he's got it. So they beat the double team. Leitner passed out to Mookie Blaylock, who has three. Blaylock. Now they can either come with that screen and roll. There it is. Blaylock looking for the nice. screen and roll to Leitner who scores. Well executed by the Hawks who now lead by four points. They were up by five. Hancock and Brown penetrating to Williams and a block shot and a great one by Fenders. Biggest lead for the Hawks right now six points. Michael Jordan has scored only four and Jordan with a fall away. Won't take him long to get up there in the high altitude. Well, if you know, he's going to be happy against Allen Henderson, who had a big game one. Kerr spots up for three. Oh, boy. Watch out for him. Steve Kerr only one for three. He's here in the first half. They got to show us something. Laylock, who's been hot from downtown, remains so. That's his fourth. He has 14 for 11, shooting 18%. Laylock still hot. Oh, yes. And Mookie oh, Laylock is on a roll. Five-point lead. Nice back man. Oh. Henderson got around Kukoc. Henderson 
What a beautiful back screen. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if they can continue. And a throw away shot by Eldridge or Kasner. And that's a three-point basket. Michael Jordan comes back and hits. Jordan has done everything tonight, rebounding and assists. Has not seen. Craig Sager with us here at the United Center for game two. Jordan with a turnaround, and Michael Jordan finding the range. He has 10 and nine rebounds. Judd Boucher, a defensive specialist in there. Also a good three-point shooter. Blaylock hitting another three. Blaylock six of seven from downtown and 20 points already. He had a playoff career high and he double team the big man inside. Here is Jordan in rhythm. Banks it in. Michael Jordan with 12 points. And the Bulls are down by three with a... And Jordan is there for the follow-up and it drops. Oh, Michael Jordan backboard up front. Scotty Pippen, Dennis Rodman, and Robert Parrish are going back door. Is Michael Jordan. That's the first time they've done that all night long, Dick. That was eye contact. A beautiful move because Smitty took away the passing lane to Michael. One point lead for the Atlanta Hawks in the third. Smith going in with the layup. Steve Smith going strong to the hoop line area and finishing. Notice uh, Matumbo giving Rodman the outside shot. Pippen with a fallaway hit. Scotty Pippen now with 14 points. Jordan with 16 leads the Bulls. Think about it. The rest of the Bulls are not happy with Dennis Rodman's antics. They love the way he can rebound as he did there. Pippen lays it in for the basket and the Bulls take a 59 to 50. Uh, well, during his career at Cleveland and the Clippers, he had three seasons of over 20 points. And once again, Steve Smith, he's been doing that all night going to the Bulls. They form a consistency here. And Rodman. There you go. A pass from Pippen. So Dennis Rodman. Well, we showed you the zero. We'll make it a two. <laughs> and Playlock has yet to score here in the third quarter. But Tumbo goes up, gets the basket and the foul. So the Hawks going a lot more inside tonight than they did in game one. And the foul on Parrish. I'm going to show you right now. This is a nice move. Rodman moving without the ball. They catch Leitner turning his head. And right here now, now watch Matumbo go with a little up and under. There you go. We know you have it in your arsenal. You must come back to the baseline. Uh, unfortunately for the Lakers, they feel it cost them. Big thing is they got to win it home. Pippen to Jordan on the line. That's, Jordan has gone back door several times. Interesting that Mookie Blaylock has not been able to get off a shot this quarter. And as the words are out of my mouth, he says, Mr. Stockton, clear out. And on the shot clock. The double comes, but Jordan tipped up by Parrish. Robert Parrish with his first points of the game. And the Bulls have a one-point lead as we have gone under a minute remaining. They lead by six, and here is Steve Smith. And it's oh, oh. by Matumbo. Oh, and down. the Atlanta Hawks have the Bulls have not really shown their championship form in any of their playoff games yet this season. Jordan. But they always have him. 76-70. In game one, their third period defense is as good a quarter as I've seen them play all year. And along with Randy Brown for the Bulls, Michael Jordan is on the bench. But Matumbo is in the game, and uh, Blaylock is going to fire with one on the oh, clock. Oh. Hits his eighth from downtown, eight of nine. And the Hawks have their biggest lead of the game, nine points on the first shot of the fourth quarter. Oh, Ten blocks. Keep an eye on this, Mookie. The clock is going down. Steve Kerr right in his face as he puts this one because you, when you dive on the floor and roll over. In the NBA, it's a non-call. Steve Smith with a turnaround down low. Smith now with 16 and 71. Michael Jordan remains on the bench in the first quarter. And there's Matumbo with another block. That's his first of the game. And the Hawks are in rhythm right now. Smith for three oh. and he's got it and the Atlanta Hawks have opened up a 15 point lead Hawks off to a great 8 to 1 start and a steal by Ron Harper the Bulls have been able to get to the lane is when they have been running back door from the wings Jordan with a turnaround Michael Jordan 22 points he had 14 at the half and the Hawks are that jump shot Bulls have 15 seconds to try the shot Jordan wide open Michael Jordan with 24. Remember, Jordan had a 55-point game against the Washington Bullets into his own hands countless times. Lead is 12 for Atlanta, and Harper with a steal. That's hard for a second he steal. the ball to the other side of the floor. Oh, yeah, running out of time. Playlock up and down. 
And now the 24 second clock expired. This move up to seven minutes. And the 24 second expiration affected them on those turnovers as well. Here is Rodman going strong to the hoop, blocked by Matumbo. And here is Mookie Blaylock, a three on two, but the Bulls get back. There he is. And there is Rakasner open, and Eldridge Rakasner hits a big bucket. And the Hawks lead by 14, 89 to 70. See, they're switching on all ball crosses, and it's caused the problem in these first two games. Jordan, foul basket counts. Blaylock was on his elbow. So Jordan complaining about the non-call on Rakasner, which he should have gotten, will go to the line and a chance for his 27th point. Michael has been automatic. Anytime that Mookie is on him, he runs him right into the post of the triangle and then does that right there. He turns to the baseline, shoots the fade away because that's an exact for Rakasner. Plenty of time. Guarded by Jordan. Rakasner firing a high arcing shot. Oh! Can't believe it. Eldridge Rakasner with his sixth point, but his second big basket here in the fourth quarter gives Atlanta a 13-point lead. Michael was draped all over El. Michael can't shoot. Harper will fire away, and that is a big basket from downtown. And it's, it's an eternity. Pippen working against Matumbo out to meet him. Drives by Matumbo and lays it in very nicely by Scotty Pippen. He's got 18. Yeah. Good rebound by Corbin. He kept it alive for the Hawks. Run some precious time here. And a steal. Knock ball knocked away and jumped Bushler in the game. They've got Bushler in crunch time in the game for the Bulls. Kukoc spotting up the three and he's got it. Seven point lead now as the Bulls come back with two six. Clock management always precious. This was with many seconds left on the shot clock. And eight on the shot clock for the Atlanta Hawks. Pippen is guarding Leitner. And three on the shot clock. They triple team Leitner. He goes out oh, and scores. Big play. Against three defenders. No fouls, especially fouling three-point shooters. Pippen hits a three. He hit six of them last night. And it's easy to not foul a three-point shooter. Ten-point lead. Pippen hits the three. And it's now a seven-point game, 44.7. Pay for it under, by getting the ball up in front. Under 30 seconds to go and five on the shot clock. And a runner by Steve Smith. And that may do it for the Atlanta Hawks. They're up by nine.